Do I get to talk about Sabres news? Hey everyone, my name is Melody and we have a trade to announce. I can't believe it either. Kevin Adams' first big move on the job. Buffalo Sabres have traded Marcus Johansson to the Minnesota Wild in exchange for Eric Stahl. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy to be able to talk about something that the Sabres have done. It feels like it's been like six years or something. I don't know. I've lost track of time. But yeah, so we trade Marcus Johansson for Eric Stahl and initial thoughts interesting from just watching Marcus Johansson for a year from that standpoint. Um, he's a pretty decent hockey player. I didn't, I didn't dislike Marcus Johansson at all. I just, like, the Sabres put him in a second-line center role because they seemingly could never fill uh, the second-line center role after trading away Ryan O'Reilly for nobody. He definitely is not a second-line center. I think if Minnesota uses him as kind of like a second, third-line wing, like a middle six winger, I think he'll be he'll be good for them. But I mean, with Eric Stahl, like I have always hated Eric Stahl. Uh, he has always been one of my least favorite NHL players. He was on the dreaded 2006 Carolina Hurricanes team that beat the Sabers to go on and win the Stanley Cup. And ever since then, I've hated Carolina until basically this year. And he was always kind of like their their main guy. So it was like Jeff Skinner. I didn't like Jeff Skinner either. Now he's a saber. So this is gonna be weird. Fun fact: You know who else was on that 2006 Stanley Cup champion Carolina Hurricanes team? Buffalo Sabres GM Kevin Adams! Crazy, man. But yeah, a very interesting trade. Um, it looks like we're saving a little bit over a million in cap, which is good. Um, that'll really help us get down to that 71 million um, internal cap that the pool is our setting. Oh, look at this. It's a, it's a tweet here. It says, uh, Pierre Lebrun said on TSN 1040, one rumor that always been out there has been that if Eric Stahl got traded, he's just going to retire. Could you imagine? Oh my god. Could you imagine if Eric Stahl just comes to Buffalo and he's like, no. <laughs> Anyway, from the Sabres' perspective, I like this move a lot. Um, I know they're going to have Dylan Cousins come up because they're not going to want to send him back to junior. Um, and they tried putting Casey Middlestat in kind of like a second-line center role, and that didn't work out. He wasn't ready. Um, so it's kind of nice to have that veteran presence that I'm assuming Eric Stahl is going to be our second-line center to kind of groom Dylan Cousins in that role, and then I'm sure next year he's going to eventually uh, take over that second-line center role. But it's good to kind of have that safety net right now. 19 goals, 28 assists, and 66 games last year. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, initial reactions, I like this trade a lot, assuming Eric Stahl doesn't retire. Both of them are free agents at the end of this year, so that's, uh, so even if it doesn't work out, that's pretty low risk for us, so I, I'm fine with this trade. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am fine with that trade. Yeah, to be honest, like, the more I'm thinking about it, I don't really understand why, why Minnesota did that trade, like, Twitter's now saying that uh, Bill Guerin said that they're going to use Johansson as a center, which I just said he's not. That, ugh, that'd be really bad for Minnesota. Oh, look at this tweet by Michael Russo here. It says, Stahl found out about the trade 10 minutes ago, said to be stunned. I feel like when you're getting traded to Buffalo, that is never a good stunned. <laughs> I mean, my feeling is that as long as Eric Stahl doesn't pull like a Patrick Berglund and just decides he doesn't want to come to Buffalo, so he's just going to quit hockey forever and leave money on the table, then I feel like this is just, it seems like a pretty good deal for, for Buffalo here. Kevin Adams making a splash right away. Who knows, maybe playing with his old pal Jeff Skinner will put him in a good mood or something, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the stunned thing. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty interesting trade. Like, it's not huge names, but it's definitely not insignificant names either, so I guess we'll just have to see what happens and how Saul will fit in, but like, I, th I think that's exactly what we needed. I think we just needed kind of maybe a one-year second-line center to to take the minutes away from Cousins so he's not overwhelmed and gives him time to grow in the NHL. But And Marcus Johansson, too. Like like I said, I, I didn't dislike him, but, you know, I, I didn't think he was anything too special. So I think to be able to save salary cap and get a player like him, I mean, Stahl is, like, what, five, six years older? So in, in terms of, like, you know, Minnesota gets the younger player, but... I'm, I'm just more so kind of shocked that, like, I actually have something to talk about. Like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's been pretty sad watching all my my uh, new YouTube pals making cool videos about their favorite teams and the play-ins and the playoffs and me just sitting there like, well, we fired our GM or something. But, yeah, I don't know. Seeing Eric Stahl in a Sabres jersey for the first time, I'm not going to lie, is going to be real weird. Like, I know so many people in Buffalo just 
hated him for for 2006 and beyond so this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna be weird but I mean I I can't say anything bad about this trade right now on the surface it looks like a good deal for Buffalo we've had good on the surface trades before so I'm not gonna count my chickens but I, I have nothing really bad to say right now. Look at this one from Michael Russo. The Sabres were not on Eric Stahl's 10-team no-trade list. How? <laughs> How are the Sabres not on, like, everyone's no-trade list? Like, <laughs> can we just, like, speculate what 10 teams Eric Stahl would, like, want to play for less than the Buffalo Sabres? Like, that's fascinating. I need to know what this list is. That is phenomenal. I didn't think it was possible that Buffalo would be would not be on someone's no trade list. That's wow. Well, anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um it's so nice to be able to like remember that the Buffalo Sabres are actually an NHL franchise that exists and that, you know, can do things. Let me know in the comments what you think of this trade. If you think uh it's a good trade for Buffalo, for Minnesota, for everyone, for no one, let me know. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you soon. Go Bills.